I'm Dr. Susan Barnard. I'm the Dean of Health Professions, and I'd like to welcome you to campus for the fall 2020 semester. We thought it would be a good idea to take you through the process that you'll need to access the campus. When you get to campus, you should be in your scrubs and have your ID. You should have your phone with your clearance from the COVID questionnaire. We're going to be using Campus Clear, and you'll be receiving an email on how to download that. You can do it from Google Play Store or from the Apple Store. It is a free app. Please note that there is no tracing or any personal information that is accounted for other than the information that you put in related to COVID. You will have a smile face on your screen with the date that you're entering the campus. You'll show that to public safety officer first. Next, you'll be asked to do a thermal scanning. You'll step in front of the camera and face the screen. Your temperature will be scanned and you'll be cleared to enter the building. No one should be accessing the inside of the building without having taken the questionnaire or having a thermal scan. Once you're cleared to access the interior of the building, you'll go to your classroom, but you'll notice that on the floor there are directional arrows as well as direction signs on the staircases, an up staircase, and a down staircase. These are single staircases, so you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the directional signs. Once you reach your classroom, you'll use your ID to scan the pad so that we know who has been in each room. This is particularly important not only for contact tracing, but also for the building to be sanitized and disinfected overnight. We have a specialty process that our buildings and grounds team will be sanitizing with disinfectant. Each lab that is used will receive that process. It's going to be extremely important that you don't enter rooms in the building that are not assigned to your classes. Restrooms will be open, but they'll be limited throughout the building. So please check to know which restrooms are accessible closest to your laboratories. In the restrooms, you're going to notice that the air dryers have been turned off. There will be paper towels in order to dry your hands. There will also be hand sanitizers throughout the building. The water fountains have also been turned off. There are signs in front of each water fountain to tell you that due to COVID, these will not be working. There'll be no food in the building. We have removed the majority of the hallway furnishings. You should not be hanging out in the hallways. You come in to do your laboratories, your clinical development, your lab development, and then you're going to leave. Now, many of your labs are going to be a full day. At that lunch break, you're going to be going out to the quad. There'll be no food consumption within the building. There will be no food service on campus. So please make sure that you're bringing snacks or you're bringing something with you to have out on the quad. Masks are mandated on campus. So wearing a mask, social distancing, washing your hands. There won't be any penalties if you report something that you have a symptom that may not allow you to come onto campus. Please let your faculty member know while you may not be able to come on campus, you will be accountable for those skills or that work and you'll work that out with your faculty member. The most important thing is if you're not feeling well, stay home. Do not access the campus. In the event that there is any positive or any instance a positive COVID, because of the contact tracing, our health services will contact your instructor and let them know and will give all direction related to potential quarantine. I wish you a great semester, be safe, stay well, and enjoy your semester.